Hey guys, this is Eli from Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be talking about the ILX W650 from Alpine. Um, and in this video we're going to do a quick unboxing. We're going to run through what comes inside the box as well as some of the features that will come along with it. And then we're going to actually going to take you in the car, see how long it takes to boot up and look through the menus and really get a good feel for what the head unit is actually like. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box. and. When you get to the top here, you're just going to see a quick overview of this product as well as a quick little place you can go to to actually see the full manual. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I'm going to take everything out of this box so you can get a good feel for everything that comes along with it. This is the actual stereo itself. Move this out of the way. And take this out so you can get a good look at it. We'll set that, we'll set that right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and take out all the wires as well so you can see everything that you can use with this. This here is going to be your, your microphone, uh, your external mic, which will be pretty useful whenever you're actually trying to take any calls. Um, and you can mount it in various different places, whether you're trying to get it closer towards the driver or if you have passengers that will also make phone calls, you can mount it more so in the center, uh, kind of near your rear view mirror. Uh, it's a pretty popular pace for it. Uh, these are going to be your preamp outs uh, as well as your, uh, your camera inputs so you can use DVR or backup cameras. Um, we also have some power cables as well as an included USB. Um, I'm going to set this aside for just one second as well as the manual here. One thing I would like to do is show a comparison of a typical head unit. The one I actually pulled here is just a uh, Sony single den head unit. Um, this really gets you a good feel for the actual depth of this uh, head unit here. Typically, you're gonna have something that's about this thick and it's about three times as thick as a, this Sony ILX W650. And the amazing thing about this is it makes it really easy to install as well as uh, Alpine actually offers an amplifier. It's actually a four channel amplifier so you can actually amplify your speakers in your car so you can get a little bit better sound quality because the built-in amplifier in this is actually only provides 16 watts RMS. Um, but the most important features to really focus on with this head unit is uh, the fact that it's you're gonna get Apple CarPlay, you're gonna get Android Auto, you obviously will have some of the best form of Bluetooth um, and you're going to get all the options you would get in a lot of these other $600 stereos in a $300 package. And it's really all inclusive and it's, it's just a great option for a lot of people. And uh, I, we actually have a few people right here at Sonic Electronics that actually bought this thing themselves and, and they really love it. And so I'd like to take you out to the car to be able to get you a good uh, chance to look at it. So now that we're actually in the vehicle, I'm just gonna go ahead and start up the car so you can get a really good feel for what these menus will look like. And during this process, you're gonna see the Alpine logo for about 10, 15 seconds, and then the menus will actually boot up. Um, just to touch on something real quick, these are capacitive touch buttons. Um, so with these, you'll be able to adjust volume, uh, as well as there's a mute button there. Uh, you have your home button. Um, you even have your voice assistant button, which will enable you to use Siri or um, as well as Google Assistant. Um, there's also a phone button that will allow you to quickly access your phone with just one touch of a button. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the main menu here so you can see everything that this offers. You have your FM radio, uh, as well as your Sirius satellite radio if you have the correct transmitter. Um, it also offers USB, so if you're really looking for that high fidelity audio, you can get that really high quality through a USB. And then there's also other features like Bluetooth, as well as a backup camera if you have one installed. It is actually a mechless uh, device as well, so that's important to note. Um, so if you're somebody that likes to listen to CDs, uh, this is going to be something that's more targeted to somebody who enjoys uh, streaming, uh, listening to podcasts, things along those lines. As well as uh, if you really still want to get that high fidelity audio though, like I mentioned, you can still use the USB, so you still won't lose out on that feature. Uh, you just won't have the option to be able to use DVDs. And we're just going to run through the setups real quick just so you can see what's in here. Um, as you can see, there's a way to adjust your fade and your balance, and you can really get a good feel for where you want that volume coming uh, towards the driver or to the other passengers. Um, you also have your bass and your treble settings, uh, which is actually kind of funny. We have the bass turned up all the way in this one. Um, then you have your EQ, which you can choose through a few different um, genres of music, depending on really what you want to listen to. Um, and if you also have a subwoofer installed, you can kind of toggle through that menu. 
um, to be able to get a little bit better um, functionality with that. Um, so this is kind of what your Apple CarPlay will look like. It looks really solid on this, uh, on this head unit here. It also offers Android Auto like I spoke about. Right now we just have an iPhone connected just to be able to get a good feel for what these menus will look like. Um, pretty simple, uh, pretty standard on what you would see on most uh, Apple CarPlay devices. Um, so overall, it's a great option for somebody who's looking to really get something really solid, but not spend thousands of dollars on something like that. Uh, it's going to be around $300 depending on the sale at the time. And uh, it's just a really good option um, for a lot of different people. And I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment down below as well as uh, give us a like and uh, subscribe to this channel for uh, more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one.